Hello. <laughs> I would, um, it's sorry. It is Sunday, no, Saturday, September 11th, 2021, 9-11. Um, I would like to talk about James' and I relationship. I'm just going to talk and just kind of see where it goes. I kind of have no idea where it's going to go, but, um, Maybe I should just <coughs> start from the beginning. Um, let me reiterate my claim that James and his Patrick Ryan, August third, nineteen um, eighty-two, and his girlfriend Sonia Cardenas, AT and T Client Solutions Executive with um, AT and T. Mobility LLC. She owns that company and um, she is complicit in stealing a lot of money from me. I no longer have a bank account because of her and um, what she's been able to do to me. She's stolen out of my savings account with Houston Federal Credit Union that I've had for um, 10 years. My Chase account, I don't have anymore. Um, I had a several accounts including um, a couple of commercial accounts. Um, and because of the theft and identity theft that they've been able to do um, in regards to me um, and the fact that they kept on stealing, I figured out that they are stealing from a lot of the uh, women and men that James is uh, having relationships with. He's the face of the organization. That's when the women and men <laughs> um, they get on the person's network and drain their accounts. That's what they do. They also went into my apartment when I was away on um, trips and uh, stole a lot of my possessions and sold them. Replaced them with a Ch China version of uh, um, the original. And um took a lot of my prescription sunglasses that what I use to manage my keratoconus. That, that basically took everything that I've ever owned and meant anything to me. So I even had an incident yesterday where I was uh, affected negatively with my medication and uh, I felt like I was gonna die. So I'm still in the thick of this, even though I publicly exposed Sonia Cardenas <laughs> and James Patrick Ryan. Um, Senate Bill 20 allows for them to do that to the residents of the, the Texas because not only was she stealing from me, they were stealing from other people, other people that I know personally, and um, the residents of this great state. It's not just me. Um, they had me involuntarily committed a few times on fraudulent warrants, meaning on fake statements that people have made so that um, they can um, damage my reputation. So when I report the crime, people will say, oh, she's just paranoid and delusional, when in fact, I'm not. They just want to cover up their crimes. So James Patrick Ryan and Sonia Cardenas are complicit in stealing all of my money, my possessions, my apartment, even the loss of my pregnancy that I had with Mr. James Patrick Ryan in December. Um, and it is September 11th, 2021. <laughs> and yesterday I had an issue with my medication, so I'm still in the thick of this. I thought by shining a light to uh, my situation will compel these people to leave me alone. But instead, all I was met with was just, <laughs> you know, more gaslighting, more wasting of my time, and almost a death sentence. Because I literally felt like I was going to die. It's a scary feeling to be drugged and not know what you're given. <laughs> and not knowing if you're gonna be able to wake up the next morning. It's a scary feeling. So I'm still in the thick of this, y'all. <laughs> and um, I'm also shining a light on this in an effort to get help. Because I don't know how this is gonna end for me. 
honestly. How, how I don't know how this is going to end because they hadn't left me alone. Even with all of my evidence, even with uh, all of my evidence and the support of a, a attorney and a firm, they are still willing to risk my life so in an effort to keep their crimes covered. So I'm not putting up with this anymore because I'm afraid to sleep at night sometimes. It's mountains of evidence and data on, on the phones that I own because uh, basically James had us at hotels that were close to Sonya's AT&T stores. They together. They in this ring swindling people. <laughs> and that people probably don't even know that they're being victimized and being stolen from. Because I didn't know that he was stealing from me um, until a couple months ago. <laughs> but I'm finding out that he's been stealing. They have been stealing from me for years and I didn't know it. So... <laughs> They bold enough to get out and still do to still do this shit still. Even when the microscope is under them. They bold enough. Sonya bold enough to keep going. I told her to reach out to my attorney, Mr. John Hall, and she has yet to do this. So if she ain't popping her, I'm not either. And I reached out to this woman begging for my life back. June 30th, I have the email. My attorney do too. <laughs> so, for her not, to, for her to only just go hard on me confirms that her and uh, Mr. James Patrick Ryan are together. They've been together. That's what they do as a couple. And I'm still in a fight for my life because who knows if I want to wake up tomorrow because of it. Who knows what they put in the water. Or in my coffee. They take change the weed. <laughs> like they, they real ruthless. So I was right about not starting anything. I was right because they still have access to this apartment. They still come in my mom's apartment. They still, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I still have issues. So I was right not to go back to school. I was right not to keep anything of value with me. I was right not to buy new underwear. Because of what they do, they're still going to be up to their tricks. They haven't stopped. So, it's sad what my life has become. It's sad that what people will do every, every, every and anything except the right thing. And the right thing would be to leave me alone, <laughs> like for real, stop fucking with me and call Mr. John and it can be over for her. It, all of this can be over for her if she reached out to my attorney. That's what I've been saying. I've been saying that for a week, but no, nothing. So <laughs> I came to her as a woman. Like, ma'am. And since then, guess what, y'all? I only got more evidence <laughs> to sue her company. It's like, ma'am, you really do want me to sue you and go pub? Like, you really want me to do this? Okay, I have no problem doing it. I told you, it could just call my lawyer. She haven't done it. So now I got more <laughs> ammunition and evidence to sue her in the court of law and to uh, make her be, be liable in her company, be liable for what they've done to me. So I'm coming for her position at at and Even though her IP address is in everything in this motherfucker. <laughs> she don't give a fuck. So I'm going to go ahead and just come for her stories. It's only fair. Yeah. Coming for her stories. And everything she's worked hard for. Because uh, that's what she did to me. For, for what reason? I guess not because I figured I had germs together and he got me pregnant. But that, take that shit up with your man, bitch. T torture your motherfucking man, not me. <laughs> bitch, because uh, I'm not the one that got me pregnant. So, again, 